Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, the string data type will be manipulated using JavaScript. This is brought to you from the ojamboshop.com learning JavaScript course. In JavaScript, as you can see here, assigning a value would indicate the data type. So in this case, I'm using double quotes here, so that's a string, or it can be single quotes, which is a string. The String data type is a sequence of characters using double or single quotes. JavaScript has a built-in functions for manipulating strings. So some of those functions are down here, like you can go to uppercase, lowercase, you can trim, replace, split, and splice. There are others, but these are the most common ones. Obviously, for this tutorial, uh, the learning JavaScript course, Web ID, can be used. And that's what I'll be using. That's also inspired this course. You see, there's also escape characters here. The only one we'll do today will be the uh, new line character. So JavaScript, as you know, runs in a web browser uh, for client-side, interactive, or automated web applications. Server-side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside the browser. But in this particular case, we just use the browser. And you don't need to install JavaScript. Uh, if you want, you can, but you can just follow along after you purchase the learning JavaScript course at ojamboshop.com. So let's begin. So comments, as you can see here, use this slash slash or two forward slashes. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just show you the different ways to output the your code. So I'll just go back to the hello world. I'll use double quotes. You can use alert. So if I compile this, you see the alert comes here, it says hello world. You can also, if you don't know the type, you can use type of. That's one of the built-in uh, functions with JavaScript, and guess what it will do? It will tell you that it's a string, so it's a string type. You don't know what type, if you don't know what data type, you use type of, and now to give you that. Next, we're going to do. So that was an example of data types. Data types. Now we're going to do an example of casting, casting strings. So create three strings. The first string will be string one equals string. So if I put double, I'll use double quotes. So anything in double quotes is a string. The other type will be see the whole number. And the final one will be a float, 9.0. And I'll use the console this time. To output all of them. I did string 1, string 5. You can do string 2, which is 3, and 3, which is 9, because it converted to a string. Oh, sorry, uh, yes, it converted to a string. And let's continue with the lesson. So I'll say string 1 equals hello world I'll select string 2 equals I'm going to use single quotes this time so what is the difference string 1 console.log string 2 
2.1 in each. It's taking it somewhere. Okay, I'll just do an alert. I don't know why I made a mistake. Okay, so let's clear that. And we can also put quotes inside strings. See the single quote is inside. Let me make sure everything is okay here. String one. Okay, it's easy. You see <coughs> that one there. And then call me Johnny. So you call me Johnny with the two single quotes in there and you can also obviously do it the other way where you say let string 3 equals call me Johnny. There we go. You see now it has the double quotes there. We can also do multi-line multi-line using back ticks. So I can say let string one equals put the back tick. I say this is a back tick multiple line string spanning three rows. You see, there's active using the spanning three rows. You can also do you can also use the concatenation which is the plus and new line character, which is the uh, f backslash n. So here I put let string two equals. Oh, your single quotes. This is a concatenated plus and multiple line string and spanning three rows. You see, this is a concurrent multi-line string spanning three rows. And finally, we can also do the same thing using array join. So we say let lines equal, you create an array. This is an array join multiple line string. Spanning three rows. There are comma there. Okay. Then all you do is use let string three dot join. And and console.log 
and 3. You can say this is an array joint motor line swing spanning 3 rows. Now we do slicing. Oops. Slicing. There we go. So what is slicing? You can cut a portion of the string so in this particular case if I say console.log dot slice 2 it's going to start at index 2 which is for example you, you read humans read as 1 2 but computers start at 0 so it's going to be 1 2 3 or 0 1 2 you see it says hello world so basically the the h e it's basically it starts from the third onwards that's what that means so if we do 2 to 5 see it will go 0 1 2 so basically this guy here 3 Four, and that's it because fifth is ignored so it's just those characters there and of course if you can also do minus five to minus two which is the reverse meaning that you start counting from the end so in this particular case in minus five we will start from uh, zero one two th sorry zero one two three four five and minus 2 meaning it will go 0 1 2 there we go then we can also use template strings age equals 24 let name equals John now we could concatenate this as well, but sometimes just easier the template string will make it easier. So I'll just say let combine equals I'm going to use backticks. My name is dollar sign squiggly brackets name comma and I am I like backticks because you can then use single quotes, double quotes without having to escape them or anything like that as well. Okay, so then we can print this in a console combined. There we go. See, my name is John and I'm 24 years old. So that's the end of the tutorial today and there's much more when you get the course as you can see lots more examples and much more so you can go to the article is at a jumboshop.com javascript hyphen string hyphen data hyphen type as you can see here this is the you can expand here to see the code snippets we used today these are the screenshots this is the video you're watching right now and of course we have the learning JavaScript course, which is right here. We'll come to it in a second. There's also a learning Python course, learning PHP course, the ebooks for learning Python, learning PHP, and jumboshop.com. And of course, all the links are in the references here. See the JavaScript, learning Python, learning PHP. If you want the ebooks on Amazon, you can get them here as well. So the learning JavaScript course is right here. You can get a discount of 20% off until the end of 2024 using the promo code SCHOOL, S-C-H-O-O-L. And uh, all the syntax, everything's needed for you, right? As you just saw in the, you can use the web ID for everything. Now, if you go to Amazon, you can get, you just search for Edward or Jumbo. And click on the name. So you can still get the learning Python ebook for your reader. It's free if you have Kindle Unlimited. And there's also the learning PHP ebook. 
soon coming very soon will be the learning javascript ebook as well and also you go to jumboshop.com if you need a custom website or migrating or if you want e-commerce or if your site was hacked you want to maybe integrate some payment processing pci compliance we can help you with that if you also need a application for your mobile your desktop or even a web application in different languages you can see here all these languages was rust javascript php python java we can help you with that finally maybe you're lacking some programming or software skills so maybe it's just so office or maybe it's programming it could be php mysql bash linux just plain programming databases uh, coding can help you with that custom one-on-one -on -one tutorials just for you online of course you can dial direct if you're in north america or you can uh, use uh, this number if you're outside north america and you can also go to the contact page fill this in and get back to you within 24 hours thank you